So now we're gonna talk about the fundamentals and technique of a typical lead play. So usually in a lead play, you're gonna be directly behind the quarterback, and it's still about four and a half, four yards behind the quarterback. My stance is more gonna be a little bit more forward. And you love to get in a three-point stance, so nice and low, and it's the same thing for a normal three-point stance on any run play. Maybe a little bit more of a lean so you really can drive and get forward. So the biggest thing is when you get in the huddle, you have to figure out who the mic is, the middle linebacker of the defense. And usually the center will be up here and he'll communicate with the rest of the offense. He'll say, 50's the mic, 50's the mic. So now me as a fullback back here, I understand that, okay, here's the mic linebacker. So now I have to block him, but how do I get there? Because there's defensive linemen in the front and the offensive linemen, they have to either have you know a double team or they'll go down guys, they'll climb to other linebackers. So you have to understand where those guys are gonna be and how they're gonna play. So if there's a three technique in the, in the B gap on the outside shade of the guard, I know he has that B gap because as a defense, that's usually his gap. So I'm in my stance and I have to get this guy. So I'm thinking, okay, there's a guy in that B gap. So most likely the tackle and that guard are gonna double team that three technique and they're gonna climb to the next, the next linebacker. So now I have to figure out, okay, do I go in this A gap? And I know that B gap's gonna be occupied, do I go to the C gap? So really it's almost when that first step, so the first step for this one, so you're behind the quarterback, so you can't step forward because the quarterback is taking the ball and he's going straight back. So you have to make sure your first step is almost like, it's 45 degrees, but it's almost like a J step. You almost wanna go out and forward so you can get out of the quarterback's way. And usually too, with this shoulder, you almost want to dip it so that the quarterback, you don't, you know, you don't hit the quarterback's shoulder or hit the ball and he drops the ball. So you really want to make sure you get out of the quarterback's way as fast as possible. And for a lead play, the biggest thing is staying square. Because when I get my block, I want to give my running back a two-way go. He can either go to the left or the right of my block. So now you're in a stance, you know who the mic is, you looked at the front, so now you can try to figure out what gap to get to your block. So you want to take your first step, dip your, your shoulder a little bit, get out of the quarterback's way. And now I know this is occupied. This gap might be open, but also the outside seat gap might be open. Depending where I, he is, okay, I'm gonna go over here. And you want to make sure you hit him square, your feet underneath yourself, under control. You want to hit on the rise hands inside, you want to have your helmet right down the middle of the man. So now when your back is behind you, you can either go this way or this way. If I were to hit him out here, I only get my back one way to go, here. If I hit him on the outside shoulder, my back can only go right here. So with this play, you really want to make sure you hit the middle linebacker square down the middle, hands inside, nice and low, because you want to be the hammer, not the nail on this play, because if the linebacker hits you, the play is over, the running back has nowhere to go. So if anything, you either want to stalemate, or if it's a stalemate right away, make sure you bring your hips, hands inside nice and tight, and you just keep driving your feet, driving your feet, driving your feet, driving your feet, until the whistle. So now the back has a two-way go of wherever you want to go.